One of the most beautiful things is a real smile that had struggled through tears. Ninety-five percent of those who have eating disorders are between the ages of 12 and 25. Only 30 to 40 percent fully recover from eating disorders. Hi, my name is Kelly Blumenstock and I'm an anorexia survivor. I was down to 102 pounds and my heart rate was down to 46. I almost got sent away the day before my 16th birthday. My doctor didn't believe that I could do it by myself, but I knew and my family knew that I could, and I did it. Today we will be interviewing different guys and girls to see what they really know about eating disorders. And then after that, we will hear from a girl who also had an eating disorder just like me. The three common known eating disorders are anorexia, bulimia, and binge. Only one in 10 people with eating disorders receive treatment. Hi, my name is Kelly Blumenstock and I'm here with Christina Corso who also had an eating disorder like me. So Christina, what eating disorder did you have and when did you develop it? I was bulimic and I developed it when I was 11 years old. 11 years old, that's such a young age. I was 16, so I was older. So why did you develop your eating disorder? And when you had your eating disorder, did you know what you were doing was wrong? I just never really liked myself. I could never really remember ever being like, yeah, go Christina. But I mean, I did know what I was doing was wrong because you know, you see social media, you read the books, like you see that, and I knew it was wrong, but eventually I was just like, I don't want this anymore, so I did ask for help. Family trauma and sexual abuse are a few of the leading causes of triggering eating disorders. Keep smiling, there are people out there that would die to see you fall. I believe that boys and girls have eating disorders due to getting judged on their appearance. I believe guys and girls have eating disorders because they are constantly judged on their appearance and no one takes them for their inside personality. Guys and girls have eating disorders due to the media and the way everyone is shown and the way how actresses and actors, they all look perfect and I don't feel that they should feel that way. It may be stormy now, but it can't rain forever. Being different isn't a bad thing. It means you're brave enough to be yourself. Guys and girls can be affected emotionally and mentally, not just physically. Right, something that is affected other than Someone with an eating disorder's physical appearance is also their mental issues. They also have less confidence in themselves and they mentally become unstable due to the fact of their eating disability and their eating disorder. I think a lot of things are actually affected other than their physical appearance. Their mental stability, their social life, all aspects of their life are actually affected. That's awesome. Like, I asked for help too. Where did you ask for help at? I, the first place I went to was called Foundations. I went there when I was in seventh grade. And then after that, I went to the Run for Center for the rest. I heard of both, both places. They're both great. So before going into one of those places, like what was your lowest weight? My lowest weight was 110 pounds. I was just like that, mm -hmm. close to that, 110. And did you think of yourself as fat when you were that, like 110? Did yeah. You, you did? Yes. So exa that's exactly how I felt. I personally don't think they run in the family. I don't say it's a choice exactly, but I don't think it's hereditary. I do not think that eating disorders are hereditary or runs in the family because I think it 
it's all in the head and I think that it has to do with something like mentally and not genetic. It's halfway if a parent might have one um, there might be a chance that their child might have one but it's not fully there. Do you still have problems to this day though? Yeah I'll always struggle with my past and with some with my eating disorder but I know now that I'm stronger and I have so much more going for me than having an eating disorder. I agree exactly what you said. I feel like I'll always have my eating disorder no matter how old I am I just know I'll have it but I know it only makes me stronger and I know with time like I, I will be okay and I will eventually believe that I'm beautiful and I deserve everything same with you and I'm just so happy that you're still here with me because you help me so much with my eating disorder and I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> The best makeup is your smile. There's no beauty like the one that comes from inside of you. There are many beautiful reasons to be happy. You don't need anyone else's permission to be happy. Your life is magnificent, not because someone says it is, but because you choose to see it as such. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I'm beautiful. I am a state champion, and I am beautiful. I am beautiful. I kicked my eating disorder's butt. There's no point to living life unless you make history, and the best way to make history is to help others. If you or anyone you know has an eating disorder, please get them help. You may save your life or their life. A great place to go for, for help is the Renfrew Center, which is located in Philadelphia, PA. Please call 215-482-5353.